YouTube, what's good, YouTube? What is going on? What is happening, man? Hopefully everything is great and fantastic. Um, before we start, man, anybody, I'm in Florida as well, but anybody who is, uh, you know, affected by Hurricane Ian, man, I hope that all is well. I hopefully everybody's okay. Um, just hopefully all is well. Like I said, you know, we're living here in Florida. There's a chance. There's a chance, man, that you know, one of these nasty storms can come through here uh, each and every summer and early fall. So hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody is okay out there. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. Okay, so today's video is another uh, first impressions of uh, another fragrance from Latafa, um, the Pride Line. Uh, this year's Pride Line, I've, I've, I've done, uh, I think it's Shaheen Gold. Already, I've done uh, Eternal Oud, I've done Nebras, I've done a couple from the line, and I'm back with another. So, the Latafa Pride line is super intriguing, um, very interesting line, and a few fragrances from that, I think it's 18 to 20 that they rolled out this year, has definitely uh, caught my eye and really has me uh, super interested, okay? And this is another one, okay? So, um, let's go ahead and jump right into it. We're gonna talk presentation. Uh, what I'm picking up off my nose, the actual notes and suggestions on where you would want to wear uh, this fragrance and who this fragrance may be for. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. All right, man, from the house of Latafa, from the Pride line, we have Al Arik Gold. Al Arik Gold. Beautiful bottle, very heavy bottle, frosted cover bottle, gold, hints of just gold everywhere on the bottle. Um, I don't know what Al Arik means. I haven't looked it up or anything like that. I'm pretty sure somebody in the comments below will tell me. Um, but this is a nice quality bottle, heavy frosted glass. Very impressed with the presentation. And then out the presentation, you know Latafa, they'll drop some dope packaging on you for sure. So you get this white pearlish style box, gold uh, accents on the box, uh, Al Arik, uh, the Latafa Pride line, Edible Foam Concentration. This is a 100 ml bottle. 3.4 ounces, here is the bottle. Hopefully we can get that in focus for you. Just like that, all right? And then you have the uh, authentic authentication sticker, <laughs> all right, right there as well. Um, you got uh, the Latafa symbol uh, in the middle of the box up top. Um, at the bottom, uh, you have a batch code here, um, and that's pretty much it. Um, on the side, you got the Latafa, where you can find them on social media. Uh, if you're looking for them, hopefully that's in focus. Doesn't look like it is. Let's see what we can do about that. All right, there it is. So, nice box. I love it. It's like a slippery, silky style box. On the inside, the fragrance comes in this container. Uh, I broke the little cushion up top, so I can't place it back. But when you open it up, it kind of opens up like this. You kind of sit the fragrance here. And then that's how this is. Oops. This is how it came. This is how the fragrance came, all right? So dope packaging overall, overall, all right? So the Tafa always uh, are very good for, um, you know, giving you some really dope packaging, okay? So let's go ahead and put that all out to the side and let's go ahead and get into the juice, all right? Now this is not what you, what you would call mass appealing, all right? This is a very challenging fragrance, man. And these days in my fragrance journey, yeah, these days in, in my fragrance journey, that's what I'm into. So let's go ahead and get this on a tester strip so I can follow along with it and be, uh, you know, begin here. All right. So right up top, you do get uh, definitely this saffron leather type of opening here. But it's definitely a, a followed by a slight sweetness underneath. So this is a masculine fragrance, okay? This is a, around the lines of the tradition of the uh, Middle Eastern Oriental style fragrances that are heavy on the leather, the oud, uh, the incense. I'm not saying it's heavy on this, but the openings is slightly pungent with the saf saffron. So you would have to be into this style of fragrance for sure, style of fragrance. But I'm getting like this... Um, this very spicy kick with it, the saffron, a vanilla sweetness that's very underneath all of this in the opening. 
So this is for cold weather, cold weather, cold weather, all right? This is not for the springtime, summertime, or anything else. This is cold weather only for sure. Now, lately, my nose has matured into really appreciating a uh, uh, incense heavy or a saffron inspired by or a leather feel style of a fragrance. But I can't just go that all the way through. It's got to have some type of sweetness or some type of citrus that's kind of offsetting it. And this has that, but it's going to take a while for it to show up. So that's happening in the dry down. Let's go ahead and get into the notes so we can discuss you know what we're dealing with here all right so in the opening of this thing all right you have saffron and black tea okay black tea in the mid you have frankincense suede and leather very powerful here and then in the base notes you have an amberwood a vanilla and a musk all right those are your notes in there so as i stated this is not for everyone this is not mass appealing this is for the masculine confident gentleman um, I wouldn't say this is a youthful fragrance by any mean. And also, I've sprayed this on skin and I sprayed this on a tester strip. Do not form your judgment off a tester strip. Do not do that. Put this on skin because you really see what the fragrance does on skin. Now, the frankincense and the leather and the incense, that is there. The saffron is starting to kind of calm down a bit. Well, it has calmed down a bit. But that ambery uh, vanilla sweetness is starting to push up even more into the fragrance now. In my opinion, this is not blind by safe. And why did I purchase it? Well, the notes intrigue me. I'm a fan of uh, frankincense, incense, saffron. Um, I'm a fan of those things. And in the wintertime, even though I live in Florida, for about a good, I want to say six to seven weeks, we get some cold air. Now, I'm, you know, cold air to somebody in Chicago and down here is different. We hover around those low 40s, those mid 30s, and even a couple, a couple days, man, we'd be dealing with some hot 20s, okay? So I'll have an opportunity to wear this, not a lot, but I will, and when it gets that brick, <laughs> I'm gonna be wearing something uh, like this, but overall, I enjoy the fragrance, okay? So again, don't place judgment on this off the tester strip. Go ahead and uh, put it on skin and really get the full effect of what you can get with Al Arik, okay? So again, who is this for? Like I said, the masculine man, the confident man. This is not mass appealing. This is not a youthful fragrance by any means. This is something that when you smell this, either you're going to love this or you're going to hate this. It's no in-between. It, it, there's no like uh, when it comes to this fragrance. You love it or you hate it, man. But to me, this is good stuff, all right? This is a very confident scent. You can really dress this up all black or dark tones, like maybe a navy blue, browns, dark greens, uh, well-dressed, whether you're just doing a straight button down with some nice uh, pants and some nice shoes, or if you're gonna go full suit. Um, if you're stepping out in a, 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 an outside event when it's really cold out, that's what this, this is gonna be good for that. And I know this will smell even better in the colder elements all right so this thing is very powerful as well um i can't speak to the full performance but this is a very powerful fragrance jumping off this tester strip jumping off my skin and it is going to hang around okay this is not for the weak this is for the confident and this is for the mature that's what this fragrance is for. So if you're not into <laughs> trying to be challenged in any way, don't do so. Now, for me, this comes off as very niche quality because of the complexity and the challenging uh, uh, aesthetics to this scent, man. So I really enjoy it, man. And I can't wait to really see what this is about. This was up there, you know, this is a little bit more challenging than some other... Um, I want to say oud or leathery style fragrances that I have because that saffron is dancing with that uh, uh, that incense and that frankincense and that leather. Um, but that vanilla and that amber and that musk is creeping up as the fragrance continues to live. Okay, so we've been doing this video for almost 10 minutes. This has been on this tester strip for probably right around that six, seven mark, six, seven minute mark. And it is still developing, okay? So that's what you're getting with this fragrance, that it is still developing. But I do like this scent, okay? 
So all in all, like I said, if I had to rate this, I would give this a seven and a half, maybe even an eight out of a 10. Um, it could go up once I'm able to wear this out in the field and really see what this thing can do. So once again, I wouldn't blind by this if you haven't experienced this style of a fragrance, okay? Now those who like oud for greatness and, and, and uh, you, know, you know, traditional Middle Eastern oriental fragrances then you probably could buy by, blind by this but if you're a dior sauvage guy or a ycly edp guy or a polo red or if you're just really cool on the mass appealing uh fan favorite sense and you're not really trying to be challenged look the other way don't come down this lane unless you're that curious okay so again challenging complex scent for the fall nights and winter season in my opinion this stuff is really good to me for that masculine, confident man, okay? So y'all check it out if y'all think y'all will be into it. I got mine off of Amazon from the, from the Intense Oud store for around that $45 mark. The pride lines are kind of up there in price compared to your traditional $20 to $25 Middle Eastern fragrances, but $45 for something like this that's different, slightly unique, to me, I'm going to... I'm happy with that purchase, all right? So again, from the House of Latafa, from the Pride line, all right, we have Al Arik. Al Arik. All right, so that's going to wrap up the first impressions of Al Arik from Latafa. Let me know down in the comments, down in the comments if you guys have this fragrance, all right? If you um, have anything from what I've talked about that resembles this style of fragrance, um, the much more mature, more confident uh, man wearing something like that. All right. So I uh, can't wait to meet you guys down in the comments for sure. All right. So we're going to wrap this video up. If you would like to be the next member of the Smell Good family, appreciate y'all. All right. All you got to do is subscribe to the channel, like the video, meet me down in the comments so we can talk about what you love and what I love. And that is the art of fragrance. Okay. Don't forget uh, a couple weeks left, jomashop.com. Dedrick 10, you get $10 off any order that's $150 or more. Take advantage. Go save some money. $10 to be specific. All right. So remember, splacker up. It's that time of year, baby. Splacker up. Don't miss either. Make sure you get on you for sure. All right. Guillotine game, where you at? I said, where you at? All right, cool. Y'all be cool. <laughs>